www.texas-safety.org. A message from the Texas Pipeline Awareness Alliance. Welcome back. At the top of the hour, we gave you a preview of what the 2023 South Texas Comic Con event will entail, but don't worry, we have even more details to share with you. A lot more. And our Danielle Banda got the inside scoop, and trust me, you don't want to miss this one. Yeah, if we were to talk about this event, we'd be talking all day long, you guys. But I'm going to wrap it up for you, okay? It, like you said, in the previous hours, we talked about the South Texas Comic Con. It's going to officially kick off today. And earlier, like you said, we gave you a breakdown of some of the agenda for the next three days. But now, we're going to talk about some of the other activities, including those that are going to be outdoors. Now, tomorrow, there's going to be an awesome alpaca farm happening at Oval Park from 3 to 7 p.m. And then a special fireworks display taking place at 9 in the evening. Plus, Kaboom! Comic Book Shop is in McAllen, also going to be hosting a gaming portion of the event in their back arena area. And uh, did we mention the Wrestling League is also going to be on site to host a special Wrestling in the Park feature, which is expected to really draw in those crowds. And that portion of the event is going to include different matches from local talent. And that one's all happening from 3 to 6.30 in the evening. But that is not all. We have a, a ton of vendors from all over the U.S. with comic books, but not just comic books, everything you can think of in pop culture from classic toys from your youth to, you know, the newest things, uh, jewelry. There's live stuff happening uh, in all the stages, plus, of course, the new festival outside that we're having on Saturday. Now, Ramirez says that there's even going to be a chance for us to take home the best of the best collectibles and Comic Con memorabilia and lots of hidden treasures. And there are going to be different group discounts and wristband opportunities to take advantage of as well. Now, be sure to stick with NBC 23 throughout the day as we plan to road trip on over there and bring you live coverage from the Comic Con. And coverage is going to start at 11 in the morning. So if you want more details, then you can definitely visit valleycentral.com. Com. Guys, I'm really excited about this, and I especially want to meet the actor who played Selena's dad in the movie. Come on. <laughs> Edward James <laughs> Olmos. Yeah, He's a classic. He yeah. hasn't seen the movie, of course. Yeah. Or I Stan mean. and Deliver, too. And we're not talking about the Netflix series, right? No, not the, no, no, about no, the not real that movie. One. The original. The original, the original movie. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I, what year was that? A long it's time ago. <laughs> wow. Well, late that. 90s, right? Yeah, well, yeah, Selena died in 95, so right. yeah, it must have been, yeah, a couple, like a year, mm -hmm. two years later. I'm yeah. going to be came looking, out in I'm gonna be looking yeah. for him, guys. I'm going to try to get you a shout out. I'm yes. excited <laughs> for the festival. Mm -hmm. yeah, the alpaca farm, the fireworks. So much entertainment. Just a lot of stuff going on, especially for the kids. Like, yeah. You know, I think they're going to enjoy that. I want to take my son. It looks like he'll have a blast, but uh, I think it's also going <laughs> to hurt my pocket a little bit because everything <laughs> looks so fun there, you know, right. all the masks and stuff to to take home memorabilia. Just once a year. Once a yeah. year. Una vez al año. Do it for the kids. Yeah. For their happiness. And it's Dia de los Niños this weekend. That too. So. Sunday. Because wow. he just got a PS5, right? Oh, God. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Don't he did. That. So he's a gamer. So he, right. yeah, like you were telling me, he probably would really enjoy this. For this sure. event. Awesome. Our little gamers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yours too. Gotta love them. Yeah. <laughs> All righty, thanks, Daniel, for all that information. Thank you. All right, now the Harlingen Fire Department is teaming up with Locks of Love for a donation event. If you'd like to be a part of the Locks of Love drive, it's happening Sunday from 1 until 5 p.m. at the Harlingen Fire Station number 7 on Dixieland. That's next to the Target store. Now, if you don't want to donate your hair, you can give money, which will go towards the process of making the wigs. Our best of the RGB series is back this month. We are looking for the Valley's best food trucks. Head over to our Facebook page, KVEO, and look for the pinned post. Now, there you can comment your favorite food truck. We will feature the top three right on NBC 23. Voting ends on Tuesday. For more information, you can head over to our website. That's valleycentral.com. I know you have a favorite food truck. I do have a favorite, but I can't nominate my <laughs> favorite. No. But I will. Can I say my favorite food truck? Might as well. Why not? Why yeah. not? It's El Sancho Barbecue, uh, right, <laughs> right behind <laughs> Jitters in Mission <laughs> on Conway. One of your favorite Army. coffee shops, right next to your favorite food truck. Yes. I mean, winning combination. Tacos right? and coffee. Ooh, I've my seen, favorite. <laughs> I've seen the Instagram page you've, that you've showed me, mm -hmm. and it looks phenomenal. Delicious. Yeah. Oh, I trust your, I your food opinions, Ooh. definitely. So <laughs> it became good. a thing, right? The food trucks just, yeah. you know? 
they succeeded here yeah. in the valley and i'm glad i'm glad for those small business owners a lot of them had to deal with a lot during the pandemic but it seems that they survived and they're yeah. doing well for the most part yeah casual dining it's fun on the mm -hmm. go food on the go, on the go. Yeah. What yeah. You, so you don't need to go to austin to have <laughs> the food truck experience you can stay right here in the yeah. valley for yeah. more yeah. authentic Food, mm -hmm. for sure. And in Mexico, it's everywhere too. Yeah, with taquitos. With the I was gonna say lots of tacos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can you tell we really enjoy our food? <laughs> bottom every morning. This, yeah, bottom of the six o'clock hour, and we're already uh, <laughs> thinking about it's hey terribly. breakfast tacos, lunch tacos. There's always tacos. So <laughs> if it's not cafe with pan dulce, it's cafe with a taco, right? Yeah, always. We talk about it a lot. We right. talk about it. <laughs> All right. We How about it. we talk about some weather? <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. We are seeing those uh, conditions mostly clear right now. If you are starting off uh, heading out the door, we are expecting those temperatures to be in the 60s there. But as we go into looking at those uh, upper 60 degree temps, we can expect to see those.